Hello. Long time. No speak. Once again. Um, just a quick update. <clears throat> and uh, this update is with regard to uh, where we are with recording. I'd also started looking at some uh, there were collections of more electronic, just musical pieces that uh, I, I've used uh, as a way of learning software and just just manipulating um, the ProLogic software. Just playing around with it, so it's a bit of a musical musical sandbox, and this sandbox essentially is. Um, all whatever's in the box, all the sounds that, are, that came with the software. Well, while I was recording uh, Big Blue Car, um, which is going to be the fourth album, I realised that actually I had a lot of little bits and pieces which, that were really quite fun to listen to. Um, and I had <clears throat> collected those really over the previous album uh, as well. There were a few things that, that just weren't appropriate for Big Blue Car. Whereas it's very separate, so I do keep it separated. And over the, the years, I've produced a few albums that I never released. And I didn't release them initially in the early days because there was no way of doing it uh, um, without it costing you a lot of money. Uh, nowadays, you can self publish, <clears throat> get stuff on Amazon, Apple. Uh, listed with Spotify and Deezer and all the rest of them uh, very easily and quite cheaply so that was an option that wasn't open to me when I first started this, these types of projects this style of music but uh, I have a what I refer to as my alternate alternator ego if you like it's an alternative sounding piece of music which uh, I right under the label of meshed and the meshed projects are very are, are very much they're just music uh, no, no vocals uh, and very much using the sounds out of the box um, so a little bit of guitar work but mainly sort of more electronic sounding with sequences and things um, and I just had some really interesting stuff interesting ideas and material that I started to put together and um, this suddenly dragged me into oh I could I could just mix these and write a few extra pieces and I've got another album and um, so that's essentially what I've spent months doing so it's meshed and it's going to be called um, Sunrises as Concrete Sets. Uh, I've done the album cover and uh, uh, pleased with that. Um, the style of it, um, I suppose to explain it, it has a slightly chilled edge, a slightly jazz, almost jazzy-ish edge. There are a couple of things which are um, influenced or sound like John Barry. And John Barry was a musician who uh, I, I guess he's most famous for producing um, the orchestrated version of the 007 thing. They didn't actually write it, someone else actually wrote the initial theme but he, he made it what, what um, we would um, recognise and was a, a musician in his own right with his own band in the uh, in the 60s 
um, a slightly j uh, sort of jazzy um, and uh, went on to do lots of other music, a lot of film music, so John Bar Barry is well known for that. Um, and when I was growing up as a kid my dad had some albums, I think they were called were they? John Barry 7 or something, uh, and also some, some pieces of uh, orchestral pieces that he'd written for uh, themes for, for films at the time. So I, I grew up with that in the back of my head, um, being aware of some of that stuff. And I think that today it has sort of seeped back into my consciousness in, in just in the way that um, I've worked with this album. There are a couple of tracks that are quite organic and um, play around a little bit with time signatures. I'm not trying to be clever, just trying to be a little bit more organic and, and natural. Uh, I also set myself up to um, to stop it from being out and out dance music by breaking um, pieces of the track up into further pieces um, so uh, I didn't want it to be strident I wanted it to, to sort of change over the course of each of the tracks slightly but the rest is just a a, a bit of a sort of mishmash of these other styles um, and I'm pleased with it so uh, I ple I'm pleased with the pleased with the cover pretty well pleased with the titles of each of the tracks um, so yeah that's great and um, once I can get that mixed uh, oh, sorry mastered um, and then publish it I can then go back and really concentrate for the rest of this year on the uh, Big Blue Car album number four I've just got music no lyrics no vocals, no guide vocals, I've got a, f a few bits and pieces in my head, um, but that's, that's all I have. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's to be done, uh, so it's, it's looking good at the moment. Um, of course, all, all this off the back of, um, which you would know, that the whole sort of coronavirus uh, issue which is getting uh, making people more fraught by the week by the day almost especially if you've got kids you, know, you can't get away from it so yes it seems like it is a, a very serious issue but I think we have to be realistic about it that I've got a couple of strong ideas that, that I already have some themes and ideas in my head that I quite like to explore and just get down on paper for uh, words and um, a few ideas on rough ideas on melodies but nothing that's particularly strong at the moment but uh, anyway music we're forging on forging ahead uh, mesh should be out and I'll I will do a short video when it's published and I will list more information about it and uh, also an update on how uh, Big Blue Car um, Eloy is coming on. But, uh, I've heard rumblings about uh, the way people listen to music now and with their playlists, creating playlists that, that no one really wants albums anymore. I think there might be an argument in, in that. I can certainly understand why some people say that. Um, but I, I think they said that also about um, books were going to die out when the Kindle was around and that never happened. Um, I think things come round and go round. So possibly yes. Uh, there is no need to buy albums, but I think if you give, present someone with a product that's, that is a collection, that's meant to be a collection, with, um, with a personality, a cover, um, an actual finished product, I think, um, I think people buy into that. I think people still like that. We still like books. I much prefer books, actual physical books, um, to online reading. So we'll see, we'll see. I, I, I might I might possibly split it into two EPs, I just don't know yet. Um, uh, darker and lighter side, I'm not sure. Or I might keep it as one complete album. But these are all nice that, uh, options that are, that are open to me. So anyway, that's it and I'll speak to you soon.